from productivity test? All I smell... That's fuel. Yeah. Okay. And like... Ether? Alcohol? Something? Just one breath, bud. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, you guys? We got the BMW in the garage. We have... Well, I replaced the mass airflow sensor here. This guy right here. Got the old hood opener. Perfect. Replace this guy, and before it wouldn't want to rev, it would be really boggy. It just would misfire, and it just would sound like absolute garbage. Well, after replacing that, it revs really nice. However, the situation we're having now is it doesn't want to idle. So, we're, we're, we have to figure that out, right? I finished the fender flares. You guys saw the three of them. Then this last one I was working on back here. That's all done, so now our tires won't hit our body yet, as far as I know. The window, we broke that. But it needed to be broken. I mean, this is just... I mean, this is a different level than this. This cable back here is broken. So that might be something that is concerning. But the scanner is saying, what, 17.3% that it's open. And that's supposed to be, what, around, you said, one or two? Yeah, or zero, zero would be better. Okay, and you look at that, and yeah, like you said, it's not really... It's dead closed. Why is it right. saying 17%? Right. So do we have a bad sensor? Can we clean that out? Maybe that would do something? We're going to put everything uh, back together loosely. Uh, I took the screws out of the sensor. We're going it, to... It sits at 17.3 right now. We're going to set it to, what, like one or two, and then yeah. see if it idles. And uh, I'm just gonna sit in here while he sits in there. Oh yeah. 20? 20.8. 20.8, you want that down to one or two? Let's try and get it as low as possible. Oh, uh, that's good right there. What is that? 0.8. Okay, I'll hold on to it. All right, I'm gonna try and start it. Are you, are you clear? And it immediately dies. <laughs> What's that? It immediately dies. I love how this, you have to like reset the. Yeah, it gets you to go all the way back. We're checking the spark plugs. The last one I can't get to with the old impact radio, so. We have to do the old caveman, get a actual tire wrench. Yeah. Dude, it's the Amish will be proud, but they're not going to be watching the video, so I guess you guys are going to have to tell your Amish friends. Well, if they made a diesel-powered... Torque? Uh, no, just a diesel-powered wrench, the, it's the kinda, isn't Amish it would funny? approve. The, the amount of electricity that they use to start <laughs> that engine isn't against the, the rules, but once it's running... Yeah. Uh, something about they can use kerosene... Yeah, diesel but, and kerosene. Yeah, but still loads. you're using an ignition process, like, right? Uh, well, diesel is. Yeah, yeah, but you, how are you going to crank the engine over? Are you pulling? Are you pulling over all that engine, or what's going on there? So we're going in the spark plug hole. What do we got in there? Okay, we're in. That's the top of the piston. Yeah. Okay. Can you rotate a little bit to see what's? Not really. It's not that, very informative. It's pretty dirty, huh? Yeah. And grimy. It's got a little carbon on it. It's been around and rich. What else we got? Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good quality. Now, <laughs> you can just ram it into it like that? <laughs> <laughs> Is that good for it? Well, I mean, it's not all of those should be fine. Okay. You don't think that sensor is just bad? I want to say that's bad, but I'm not a professional such as yourself. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you went to schooling and stuff. I've just, you know, I've gone to YouTube University here and there. First and last time I've ever been called a professional or anything. <laughs> hey, you know what? The day's still young. Think so? I mean, 
gotta be at gas here. Got cracks there on that line. I don't think that's that bad though. There's a crack there. But then also, um, where is it? There's another line. Here it is. This guy, this guy is really cracked. You can see. So, got some leaks. This one though, I think I got, I have this stuff right here. You can see here, it's dry rotted too. Not the most pretty thing. You're really good at that. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like a shake weight. Found another leak. That's better, biggest culprit right there. So, yeah. You think anybody's gonna have this in stock? I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> I think maybe. We're gonna have to make shift something. Well, trim looks, it back. Uh, that looks like one inch heater hose. Okay. It's got a lot of bends in there. Uh, we might need to take a different route. <laughs> <laughs> so what the BMW had in there before was this, which is probably just like lawnmower, non-pressured. There you go. Uh, where does it say? I don't think that's like pressurized stuff. And then ended up putting some fuel line in there instead so that should be more durable and it fit a little better also what else oh this hose you got heater hose here uh, that doesn't have any cracks in it like this did we tried to make something with this work but it just wasn't gonna happen so now we got to trim this so that it fits into our boot here and then we can give her a go and see what happens I think I need to open this door. Almost. Maybe it needs to relearn. It's idling. Yeah. At a super low RPM. 200 RPM. And it just won't idle. Yeah, it just won't idle. Alright, so after fixing the, the hose leak, then we took the, the, the throttle body apart and uh, set the screw, the idle screw, in one more turn, and now we're idling. Are you ready for the whole nine activities? Are you? <laughs> yes. I'm going to witness you cross a road. You're going to get in with me. I'm going to make a citizen's arrest. Are you? No, I'm not going to get in. I'm going to videotape no you. No way. You got to get in. You got to partake. And then I'm going to have them hand the ticket to you. Okay, good. Do the brakes work or? All right. They work pretty good. They're still screaming. <laughs> you guys gotta see the look on his face. <laughs> oh, that's a cop there. That's not a cop, is it? <laughs> the noises! The freaking noises! And then it just runs good. <laughs> we might have some tire clearance issues. 
at, at, at the least. <laughs> <laughs> so probably a year ago or so, I replaced the diff mounts on this car. They originally had, you know, like the rubber uh, mounts, and then I put the, what is that, what's that material called, like polyurethane? Is yeah, that polyurethane. probably what it is? Yeah. Uh, so I put those mounts in there so they're more durable. Well, I guess something happened, whether either one of the bolts came loose or uh, I didn't put it in. One or the other. But there was a, this bolt. Oh, uh, that bolt there though, that's the other end of it. That wasn't even in there, so we were running on 66% of the hardware in this thing. And now that is in there, so we shouldn't have wheel bouncing, we shouldn't have differential bouncing. And then, um, oh, there we go. Look at the difference. Yeah, that one's dying. And then I have new control arms here. And they're red to match, if you guys can remember, uh, when I re-welded the bracket there that protects the the bottom of the the oil pan it's the same color red we got a little bit of red going on right there so you know there's some bits of red we're keeping the scheme up here but these things are cool because they're adjustable and you can keep them on the car without you know un unbolting them you just adjust it right here then you got your lock nuts here so I'm getting there and then I don't know if I've shown them I think I showed you guys this, yeah. Here's the new e-brake. That thing is wicked. Sounds, looks, feels good. This guy, yeah, not so good. I give credit to any of you northern mechanics. We're dealing with rust and cross. There's our bolt. I have the two uh, inner uh, bolts loose. However, these outer ones, this one, broke and then that one is seized up so I'll probably break that one too but this one it doesn't want to go and just like that it's the next day I just got some news you guys and it doesn't make sense for me to, to keep the BMW any longer I have to split ways with it it's probably going to be a shock and and some of you may actually like this idea but I, I have something that's going on. It's, I probably won't be revealed to you for three weeks, maybe four weeks. I apologize if, the, if uh, not knowing it makes you anxious or excited. I hope it makes you excited, it makes me excited. However, I will share that with you. It, just give me a few weeks. The, be, the Beamer, I really can't do anything with at this point. Uh, it, this new chapter is going to change a few things for the better, only for the better. If you're going to change, only do it for the good. Don't do it for the bad. Beamer's been with us for a while, but I think it's like, you know, a Band-Aid. Just rip it off, get it over with, and get ne get to the next thing. I hope you guys, I know this is going to be kind of crazy and uh, different, but it's going to be good. So stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. We'll see what the hell happens in the next couple weeks. I want to upload... Just, we're going to have to find something else. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Until next time, 3D Machines out. And the, and the Beamer, the Beamer's going to be gone. <laughs>